I love my laptop, but sometimes you just need a bigger workspace. Particularly if you work with photos, video, or multiple docs or sheets at once, having a bigger monitor can make it more comfortable for working. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and TechGadgetsInternational.com, and I currently use a 14-inch MacBook Pro. And while it's great for travel, it's kind of too small for detailed video editing, which I do almost every day. For that reason, I've been testing out a lot of monitors. The 32-inch Samsung M8 monitor in sunset pink has arrived into my test kitchen, and more than a simple 4K computer monitor, this baby has a design-focused look and it doubles as a TV, making it pretty ideal for smaller spaces like dorm rooms or shared apartments. In this review, I'll look at what this monitor can do, what sets it apart, what it's good at and not so good at, and if I can recommend it for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things do help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. This 32-inch monitor is a 4K ultra high definition smart monitor, and it actually looks a lot like Apple's studio display albeit at about half the price. I may be skipping ahead here a bit, but if you're looking at Apple's monitor, stop and take a closer look at the M8. This 16x9 display has a 60Hz refresh rate plus a detachable webcam, and it has smart streaming built in so you can use it as a TV too without needing to connect to a cable box. There's also a small remote control mainly for using it as a TV, but it does come in handy for adjusting the monitor settings too. The monitor comes in some cool colors, which definitely satisfies my design sensibilities. It sits on a thin, flat foot, and it's adjustable up or down within about 1.5 to 6 inches off the foot. In a bit of design oversight, it doesn't have a Visa adapter, so you can't put it on a monitor arm if you want to get it off your desk, which is a bit of a shame. The monitor, though, has almost no bezel or edge around the screen, and it's huge with lots of visual space. Let's take a look at the setup process and the connections available. In another oddity for me, the monitor's ports and connections are all located underneath the sliding mount, making them extremely difficult to access easily. I presume Samsung did this to hide visual clutter, and in truth, you're probably not going in here constantly after your initial connections, so maybe it's a non-issue. In yet another oddity, it does not have an HDMI port, just a micro HDMI, which meant I needed another solution for my laptop. Fortunately, Samsung did include a USB-C to USB-C cable, which plugs into the hub adapter for my MacBook, and it worked great for this setup. With the cable connected, you've got to get into the Samsung Smart Displays menu to pull up your computer as the source, and the easiest way is to hit the home button on the remote. Navigate to the menu option on the left-hand side, then choose Connected Devices. Then, again, oddly, choose PC. Though it shows PC as the source, this will be whatever computer you have connected, even if it is a MacBook. With that selected, you should see your laptop screen appear. Then you can use your MacBook settings to either make the monitor an additional display or a mirror of your existing laptop screen. Using your MacBook's system preferences, you'll go to displays and then you can arrange the windows as you like. Then your cursor should move smoothly between the screens. You can also, of course, choose screen mirroring if you want to avoid cables altogether, or there is also a remote login option too for both Mac and PC. I did also briefly try the screen mirroring option so I could go cable free and to use screen mirroring, just choose that option from your settings on your MacBook, then choose smart monitor. I can say this works fine, but using my MacBook's trackpad or mouse on the Samsung Smart Monitor was out of sync. The mouse speed and accuracy is way off. It seems slower and it takes a lot longer to respond, and it's less precise than when using it on the MacBook itself. This makes it absolutely maddening to move between the laptop screen and the Samsung Smart Display, so I switched to the hardwired connection. Using this monitor for work is a dream. The 4K resolution is crisp and clear and makes video editing and blogging easy on the eyes. The colors seem quite natural and bright and everything looks great. I also really love the widescreen size and the edge-to-edge -edge design. 
If you want to use your monitor as a TV, it's as simple as hitting the home button on the remote or choosing one of the quick start buttons for Netflix or Amazon Prime. The video viewing quality is fantastic, just like a smaller 4K TV, and with all the streaming channels, including Samsung's live TV options, you'll be saying cable who. The internal speaker, while not high fidelity or super powerful, does get the job done. Now, unfortunately, getting back to your laptop screen does require a few clicks. The remote could definitely use an input button to allow for quick switching, but as it is, I needed to navigate to menu, connected devices, and select PC to switch back. Clunky, but it works. The M8 Smart Display, like I said, has a magnetic and removable slim fit cam that can attach to the top of the rear of the monitor. Samsung touts the camera's ability to keep desk space neat and tidy without any unsightly wires. Samsung claims the slim fit cam here also features face tracking and auto zoom functions. In other words, it can follow and capture a person, a great option for more active presentations or for live streaming. In my use with it on the MacBook and with Zoom, I didn't notice any face tracking or zooming or adjustments, so my guess is this works best with a Samsung device. Unless by face tracking, they just mean that I stay in focus. If that's the case, it seemed to work well enough. The only thing I didn't like about it, though, is that it only has very minimal tilt controls, meaning it can be difficult to frame, since if you want to lower it, it's actually blocked by the top edge of the monitor. In my setup, I have to have it on a riser, so it does have a hard time tilting down enough to keep me center frame. This is likely much less of an issue if this monitor is sitting directly on your desk. Overall, I'm in love with many things about this monitor, but it does have a few small quirks. The design is amazing and I love the color options. The 4K resolution is sharp and detailed and it makes it a dream to work off my laptop. Plus it is ultra versatile since you can use it as a streaming TV. Plus the magnetic webcam lets you make easier video calls without more desktop table, desktop cable clutter. On the downside, the screen mirroring on my Mac worked, but it was pretty laggy, so the hardwired option was what turned out to work best for me. And switching back from the TV to the monitor is pretty clunky. Plus, accessing the ports and connections in the rear isn't straightforward either. The truth is, though, those are pretty minor issues, and in all honesty, if this monitor had one of those Visa mount adapters, I would already have bought one for myself after returning my loaner here to Samsung. But I am trying to get gadgets off my desk, not add to it, so that's my primary reason for not clicking the buy now button today. If you want a large, beautiful display for your workspace or you're considering the Apple Studio display, run, do not walk, and get the Samsung M8 Smart Display instead. It sells for about $699 US or $899 Canadian, and you can get it from Samsung, Best Buy, or Amazon. Considering a curved monitor for work from home, I was too, until I tried it. Find out why this is not the ideal option for a home office, or check out one of my favorite widescreen monitor options that comes with its own monitor arm for home office space saving.